Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the C101CC and we're looking at air-to-ground gunnery. We can have one of two guns on pylon 4, an AM M3, which is two times M3 half-inch machine guns, or one times DEFA 553, which is a single 30mm cannon. Today we'll go for the 30mm cannon. Remember, if you're going to rearm, you need to turn this switch here to intercom, otherwise the ground crew can't hear you. Request rearming. The controls we'll use today, trigger safety catch unlock to unlock the trigger release and to actually fire, we've got fixed weapon trigger. First to the scar panel, we're going to open up the fixed weapon switch cover here and check this switch here is set to air to ground and it is with right mouse button. Now left mouse button master switch to on and that's all we need to do on the scar. Now the scar display, we can see here that the weapon on pylon 4 is active and ready to fire and we have 130 rounds in the gun. That's all we need on the scars. Next to the gun sight we need to turn it on left click and we can cycle between manual and auto we have three methods of using this site one known as auto is a stadiometric milliradian triangulation range lead computed site driven by gyro method two is manual which is a non gyro driven fixed site with manual depression we can change the depression in milliradians here from 0 to 199 milliradians, left and right mouse click. We would use this in correlation with manual depression tables. Here are manual depression tables for rockets. We do not have them for guns because we would rarely actually do it. But the inputs, as you can see, would be dive angle, airspeed, release height, and depressions in milliradians. The third aiming method would be hip shooting, where we would simply walk the fire onto target via previous tracer and ground impact. Today we're just going to look at one stadiometric because it is the primary method of fire so switch it to auto. This method sounds very complex is actually incredibly simple so if we look here we have a gyro driven reticle from the edge there to the edge there is 19.4 milliradians. We know that if we frame a target perfectly between there and there and he is 35 feet in size then when he's framed by that reticle he will be ranged at 2,000 feet and that's when we'll be designated to fire it just so happens we have some targets here just happen to be exactly 35 feet in size all we've got to do is frame them perfectly with this reticle fire the gun and everything will be automatically imputed for us this means that we can go in any speed any dive angle if our target is smaller than 35 feet if it's like these guys about 18 feet long then you just frame them so that they are half the size between there and there so about the size of the circular reticle there all we're going to do is take the trigger safety off unpause find some targets and we can go in any speed and dive angle but i suggest because it's such a slow aircraft that we go at maximum speed so maximum power and regards our dive angle about 15 to 20 degrees i find is the best you can see we've got an adi here we're currently diving about 20 degrees we'll trim to suit look to frame Fire. Got him. <laughs> oh, a little bit closer. <laughs> Let's go around again. Okay. Just slightly shy of 20 by the looks of it. Let me go again. Got him. Right, easy as that. That's the primary method for guns, air to ground. I hope that was useful and see you later.